I am so privileged and honored to serve as your Master of Ceremonies this evening. I, I really am. I love the North Chamber and I love small business. We are here to celebrate small business, the backbone of the economy, period. I looked at some numbers today. Congratulate yourselves, absolutely. In the state of Texas and in the city of San Antonio, 97% of the employers are small business. 97% of the economy is being run by small business in this city and our great state of Texas. So we celebrate that tonight. We certainly celebrate specific accomplishments in excellence within small business. One of my favorite proverbs is when Solomon said, iron sharpens iron, just as one man makes another man better. That's what this is all about, to say congratulations, to see what's going right, to rub elbows with some pretty good iron that's in this room this evening. So I'm looking forward to a great night of celebration. Good evening. Thank you all uh, for joining us tonight as we recognize a few of the many small business success stories here in San Antonio. And a big thank you to the team at the Witty uh, for creating such a wonderful setting for our event this evening. A call for nominations was announced in July seeking nominees who are small business owners, partners, and major stockholders of, or major stockholders of a business, are active in their business's day-to-day -day activity, and involved in the major decision-making processes, and are able to demonstrate their business's financial stability. It's such an honor to present today's first award for achievement by a new business. We at SWBC know that small business are the are the economic engine for business growth in San Antonio and South Texas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the 2016 New Business Award recipient, Rudy Kionis, renowned auto restoration. I am truly honored to receive this New Business Award. Thank you, North Chamber for your consideration and support. I want to thank my wife, Lauda. Uh, she's been standing by me for all these years and will certainly standing behind me on all those startup, really difficult years. Uh, she works miracles keeping it all together for us. And truly, I can't, I can't do this without you. Thank you. I want to thank my brilliant team who faithfully and, and gracefully executes our vision every day. Bill Brown, our operating manager, my right-hand man. His dedication and loyalty goes beyond my expectations. Bernie Montoya, our body shop manager, whose artistic talents and techniques has taken us to new levels of craftsmanship and quality and the rest of our renowned team who share this passion for rusty old cars and trucks. And last but not least, Mr. Mark Miller, our most faithful customer and largest advocate. Each and every one of you contributes in fulfilling my dream, but most importantly, it allows renown to fulfill the dreams of our customers. Thank you very much. It is an honor to present the Employee Relations Award. Amateur Bank understands that small businesses are a large driver of the economy for Bear County. One of the core beliefs to a successful business is understanding and promoting, and promoting employee relations so that we, not me, are achieving success. And you can always have fun along the way. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2016 Employee Relations Award recipient, Wade Cleary, Cleary Zimmerman Engineers. Thank you so much. It's such an honor for me to receive this award. And to be recognized for employee, re employee relations is truly humbling. Because it's been a mission of ours to create a thriving workplace where all of our team members enjoy coming to work every day. This award really isn't about me. It's affirmation 
of the team of rock stars that we've Thank you again for this recognition. I wish nothing but the best for my fellow business leaders in the room tonight. Thank you. It's a privilege to present this year's Business Innovation Award. The nominee must have not, uh, excuse me, the nominee must have demonstrated outstanding creativity and innovation, such as development of new products, services, or unique marketing accomplishments. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the 2016 Business Innovation Award recipients, Alan and Allison Pyle, Waterfleet. I'd like to start by thanking the Northside Chamber for uh, promoting small business and recognizing us, and uh, especially for putting on an event like this tonight. Um, our business started out of the recognition of a problem, as you saw and our ability to develop a solution to that problem. We needed to raise money, a lot of it, right, to build these systems and get them deployed uh, out into the market. And uh, there are a few people here tonight that were part of the investor group that heard the story and believed in us and did so by putting their money down, their hard-earned money down uh, to invest in this venture. And I just want to say thank you to all of you. You know who you are. Thank you so much for everything that you've done and what you continue to do because you've made this happen for us. Really appreciate being here tonight. And I have to also do a shout out to the inventor and uh, creator of this master technology, Mr. Alan Pyle. So thank you so much. The video, our core purpose is helping people thrive every day. And we live out this core purpose through the support of our clients, our employees and their families, and certainly in our community. Uh, we also engage in our community through many efforts in our BDO Counts program, which we, in which we provide opportunities for all of our staff members uh, and our family members to contribute to our community through works of service, uh, through working with our nonprofit organizations in San Antonio. So it is my honor and I'm very proud to be able to introduce and present this year's community service award. And so now, a loud and hearty welcome for our 2016 Community Service Award recipient, Robert Fleming of Magnolia Pancake House. I want to thank the uh, Northside Chamber for this award. Um, you know, when you do community service, at least in my world, you, you're not looking for that. That's not what I'm about. I'm about going out, making an impact for a bunch of people that need help. So I thank them for the recognition, not just for myself and the Magnolia, but truly for the team of folks that are there every day that we call Magnolians. People that make that experience so consistent and enjoyable that they can't wait to come back. That's our mission at the Magnolia. And the, the person I need to thank the most for all the success I've had in my entire life is my beautiful wife, Sheila, who for 33 years, has supported my hair brain schemes and the one that worked out the best called the Magnolia Pancake House. Honey, without your support, you know none of this would have been possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As Bill said, my name is Gail Baker and I am the Senior Manager of Organization Change and Communications for BD's North America Shared Service Center. To qualify for this award, the nominee must be certified a, a veteran-owned business or a service-disabled veteran-owned business that exhibits how his or her military service background prepared them to be an entrepreneur and how it influenced their successful business operations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the 2016 Veteran-Owned Business Award recipient, Jeffrey Jamie, Taurine. Part of the reason I'm standing here today as a veteran has to do with the fact that 32 years ago I entered active duty service. I took an oath and I served honorably for 22 years in our country. Thank you. This was following my grandfather, my father, my stepfather, my brother, my uncle, David Robinson, my, my nephew, 
and hopefully soon my own son. It's a tradition in our family. It's what we do. We serve our country. I think that's the best thing we can do with our lives is serve a greater cause bigger than ourselves. We saw some examples of that here in our, in our company. My team members have served honorably in our company for the cause that we're, we tried to lead. So this award is indicative of their faithful service to our cause. And with the blessings of God, they will take us to places that I could never imagine that we would go. So I thank you for your service to our company. Thank you very much. I'm proud to present this year's nonprofit organization tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the 2016 Nonprofit Organization Award recipient, Elizabeth Reese, Child Advocates of San Antonio. I'm so honored to be here tonight in a room full of individuals who are so committed to the community around us. Thank you for giving of your time and uh, your talents to advance the community of San Antonio. This award also goes to those of you in the audience as well as the rest of San Antonio who give of their time and talent to advance the mission of San Antonio to make sure that every single child has the chance for a happy future in a safe home. I'd like to give a special thanks to RSM as well as Clary Zimmerman, two of our important supporters and partners as we seek to make sure that no child's past prevents them from having a happy future. Thank you so much. It is an honor tonight to present the Business Achievement Award. As a small business lender in the San Antonio market, Security Service is committed to supporting businesses to help them achieve success and to meet their financial and operational goals. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our 2016 Business Achievement Award recipient, Kim Ford, the K. Ford Group. A few years back, I attended a San Antonio Youth Literacy Breakfast where Henry Cisneros was the speaker. And he talked about how important it was to catch those second graders so that they can learn to read and become productive members of our society. He explained that the impact that literate children have on their family is unbelievable. That with that literacy, they can break the cycle of poverty. And he said, that takes some grit. This brought a new mission to our company and to me. Break the cycle of poverty in San Antonio and South Texas. Our new goal, like she said earlier, was to give back 1% of our gross income. And in a couple of years, we've done that. A funny thing happened after that. The more money we gave away, the more money we made. The more we grew, the more we got to give back. It's been so very rewarding. I'm extremely grateful for the life that God's given me. I'm filled with gratitude for the mentors, for all of you here at the, San, the North Chamber here, all the board of directors. I am so thankful to my family who kept me on the right track with a great combination of grit and grace. And to my fabulous team at the K Ford Group, what a year we've had. It's been amazing. You guys are absolutely the best. You go above and beyond the call at every turn, and I thank you. And all of you here tonight, past, present, and future business women and men, keep up the good fight and know that at the end of the day, we can all look in the mirror and see the grit that keeps us going. Thank you so much. It's an honor tonight to present the Franchisee Award today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, please help me welcome the 2016 Franchisee Award recipient, Kathy Amato with River Sub. Thank you so much, North Chamber, for this prestigious award. I want to thank my Subway team, my partners, Rick Riley, Martha Jordan, my entire team, and the sandwich artists that show up every day and make your sandwiches. 
Um, I could not be here without every single one of them. I want to thank the SWBC team for your mentorship and friendship through all these years. Uh, you've helped me become a better businesswoman. My family and friends, because you sustain me and love me, and at the end of the day, that's more important than anything else. Thank you very much. It is an honor to present the Mentorship Award this evening. The University of Texas San Antonio Small Business Development Center continues to focus on its mission to foster small business success through its professional advising and training programs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the 2016 Mentorship Award recipient, Daryl Lyons, Pax Financial Group, LLC. I'm really uh, in awe of being on the stage with so many great people. Of all the awards, this was the one award I did not think, I think there's nine categories, this is the one I did not think I would win. I won. And I want to thank the North Chamber and Linda Elliott for seeing something that I couldn't see. See, our, our community, the greater San Antonio from Bernie to Floresville to Casterville, we're growing and we will only be as good as our future leaders. So I want to encourage you, look, if you're anything like me, there's a degree of insecurity when it comes to providing encouragement, mentorship. I'm not worthy. I don't have the ability or alternatively, I'm too busy. I, I want to encourage you and say, uh, San Antonio doesn't have time for you to be perfect. We need uh, leaders to step up and grab the hand of others and we'll make this whole greater San Antonio even greater if we do that collectively. Thank you very much. It's an honor to present the Conquer University Award here tonight. In this category, the nominee must demonstrate <clears throat> determination and courage while facing misfortune and overwhelming odds. So now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the 2016 Concrete Adversity Award recipient, Emilio and Christy Solis, Kings Highway, Brew and Q. Thank you. Thank you very much. We, we appreciate it beyond words. I, didn't, I couldn't imagine that we would be here this soon. It took, we've been together for 10 years now, and it took us eight years to get here, and uh, I couldn't do it without my wife. She, uh, she made this possible completely. And I just want to thank her very much. Thank you. Thank you. So thankful for all the people that come in. We went from days with uh, $50 in sales and wondering how we were going to make it to the next day. And now we have these wonderful people that come in four or five times a week. And it's just so touching that, that they like what we're doing enough to come back because we're there. He's there 18 hours a day. And uh, I'm back and forth with the kids, and it's just, it's, uh, it's a lot, but it's what we love, and uh, our kids love it, and so we're just really excited that we get to share what we love with everybody that comes in. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm honored to present the Small Business Advocate of the Year Award on behalf of Frost Bank. Please help me recognize the 2016 Business Advocate of the Year, Jane Barrera and Lift Fund. Chamber, thank you very much for this um, award and for uh, the recognition, uh, but it is not over. You know, one day I hope that I can say that the not-for-profit that we have started back 22 years ago would go away because there would be no need for a not-for-profit organization to do this work. At this present time, we still have to be able to do that work. So let's continue, maybe a few, you know, 22 years from now, that may... That, that, that dream may happen, that we don't need uh, the work that we do. But in the meantime, we're going to be working hard to keep it going. So thank you very much. It's an honor to present the Ambassador of the Year Award to our very own Jack Hathaway of Thompson Print Solutions. Would you please welcome, would you please join me in welcoming Jack to the stage to accept this award? I cannot leave the stage tonight without thanking Yvonne and Whitney and Christine, and especially Dwayne, for giving me the opportunity to do something I really love to do, and that is to go out and conduct ribbon-cutting ceremonies and plaque presentations and meet 
entrepreneurs and small business leaders and help them to understand what business in San Antonio is all about. So I thank you so much for this opportunity and I thank all of you for giving me the opportunity to speak tonight and also Bill, I don't know if you're doing the weather tonight, but thank you so much. As the committee chair and title sponsor representative, it's an honor to present the final award tonight to the Small Business Leader of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 Small Business Leader of the Year, Robert Fleming, Magnolia Pancake House. Uh, honest, honest to God, sitting here listening to everyone else's story tonight, I'm humbled. Uh, I'm grateful for, to God Almighty for favoring me. I'm a man blessed way beyond my merits. But to all the other recipients, I say, really, this is about you. It's not about me. Because in every one of your stories, I heard my story. And I'm sure in my story, you heard yours. And all the other entrepreneurs here tonight feel the same way. So to the, to the chamber, to everybody here, my lovely wife, Sheila, I, I'm just blown away. Thank you so much.